Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at two of my new favorite pops that I've received in the mail probably the last month or so. If you know me well, you know my channel, you've been on here for a little while, you know I love my Dragon Ball Z pops. And these two pops are from Dragon Ball Z and two of my favorite characters. I received both these in the mail. One came from a Loot Crate anime and the other one came from Funko Peak. Both of them are exclusive. The Loot Crate anime, I was planning on doing a whole unboxing of that box, but after I went through it and saw, well, I already knew it was inside of it because it was the pass box. I was able to buy a pass box on Loot Crate, and that's the only reason I bought the box just to get that pop. And all the other stuff in it was just garbage. Like most subscription boxes, they're all bad. That's why I'm not like, I've watched a lot of new, newer videos of Bandbox. The crap in Bandbox, I could care less. I, at first, I thought Bandbox was cool, but now they're getting just like every other sub box where. They hooked you in the very beginning with the really, really cool stuff, and now they're just getting to where they're just sending a bunch of prints and pictures, and I just don't care about that kind of stuff. The second pop, like I said, was from Funko Peak. It was an online exclusive. Well, at first it was, and later on some stores got it like comic book shops, but this it's also an exclusive to a AAA anime exclusive or something like that. Never heard it. I think this might be their only first and only exclusive as of now. But both pops are really freaking cool and I can't wait to show you guys. Guys, today we have a co-host too. He's hanging out in my room today. I don't know why, maybe because I closed him inside the room. Because I did close the door. Probably the only reason he's in here. What's going on? Alright, let's take a look at this first pop. This first pop is Goku. This is the metallic version of Goku. You guys know I love metallic paint. It was kind of weird to see this in a metallic version because usually you see metallic versions on pops that are, have metal on them. And I, I mean, you do see some that don't have metal, so it's kind of weird to see this, but I like metallic, so I had to definitely pick up this guy. I missed out when this first came out, and that's why I had to buy a pass box. So I ended up spending about $30 for this, because like I said, I didn't like anything else inside that box. It came with a rug, uh, a t-shirt that was garbage, uh, what else did it come with? A poster I could care less about. It was all animes. I don't watch, I, don't, I watch Dragon Ball Z, but I don't watch any other anime. I, Kind of wanted to get into watching other animes, but nothing compares to Dragon Ball Z, and I hold everything to that standard, and that's why I end up just falling off on that. Okay, so this is the Loot Crate exclusive. It doesn't say anime, but it came in the anime box. It does have the Loot Crate sticker there, like all the Loot Crate exclusives. Nothing new on the back. This old pops. But the only one I don't have on this back is the uh, regular Goku. That's a Hot Topic exclusive that came out a long time ago, and I wasn't able to get. I probably will buy it later on down the road because it is dropping down in price. But let's get this guy out of the box, check a look at him. Here he is guys, Metallic Goku, or Metallic Super Saiyan Goku actually. His hair looks freaking cool. Normally his hair is like a yellow color, and now with the metallic paint it is gold. I mean it's never looked like that in the uh, cartoon, it's had some gold shading maybe, but never just solid gold. His gi is metallic also, makes it look kind of weird because his gi is actually darker than it should be, but it just looks cool anyway because it's metallic paint. His pose is the normal pose that Goku's always in as far as pops go. They haven't changed his pose yet, and I kind of hope they do soon. Well, I guess they really don't have any more pops to come out with versions of him because they've already got Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and they didn't change his pose. They just changed his style of gi. But either way, it's still Goku, and either way, he is super cool. Really like this guy. Okay, guys, this next pop and last pop is Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now, the story behind this is, like I said, it came from AAA Anime Exclusive and that sticker is horrible that's probably one of the worst stickers i've seen as far as exclusives go it's very basic very bland nothing cool about it at all uh the box here on the back it shows the next vegeta that i'm going to get it's the bad man vegeta that is just like i said from the anime it's him in his regular clothes on the back of the shirt it says bad man i mean i guess to a normal person it wouldn't really be a necessity but to me being a dragon ball z fan i definitely got to get my hands on that one Guys, the story behind the Super Saiyan Vegeta is, they kind of just dropped a bomb on us one day. Uh, Dragon Ball Z fans and Funko Pop fans have been wanting Super Saiyan Vegeta for a very long time, and they've been coming out with a lot of the regular Vegetas, like old style Vegeta with the shoulder pads and the crotch pads, whatever you want to call them. They had like three different versions. You had regular one, you had metallic one, then you had the Planet Arley one, which is $900, which is ridiculous. Then they just dropped a bomb on us one day on the internet. It almost broke the internet as far as Funko Pops go, and it said this was coming out. The only way you could get it at the time was you had to pre-order it from like two different, or maybe three different websites, and it ran about twenty dollars, which was with free shipping. Jumped on that real quick because I definitely had to have this guy. And then later on, I found out my comic book shop was getting some, so I was like, oh well, wish I knew that. Let's say this guy in the box, get a closer look at him. Also, guys, look how freaking cool this guy looks. 
nothing special as far as paint wise he's just super saiyan and that's just that's enough that's all you need super saiyan vegeta is freaking awesome he went super saiyan i think very in, i'm not sure if he went super saiyan in the movie but in the, as far as the um, anime like the episode of anime he went super saiyan during the android saga everybody was freaking out in the anime like oh my god he's reached the power of goku anyway you won't know anything about it unless you watch the anime this is the pop version of it look how freaking cool that looks with him shooting out that blast out of his hand well you don't see the actual blast but just imagine it <laughs> but that's why he's holding his hand up the pose is really cool because he's standing like this is how you would stand him just looking at him his head is turned to the right with facing where whoever he's shooting at because normally you see pops with their feet straight out like this his head would be turned and then if you turn like this it doesn't make much sense another cool thing about this pop He's in his classic battle armor it's without the crotch pads and the shoulder pads and that's why I really like this. This is what Vegeta basically looks like all the time in the anime from the Android Saga. Well, I guess maybe from the Namek Saga or Frieza Saga up until now. But only a little bit of change during the uh, Resurrection of F or Resurrection of F Saga where he wore, instead of blue it was gray. Which they're actually making one of those but with Super Saiyan blue hair. So that's going to be freaking awesome to get my hands on when it comes out. But I love this pot. It's very classic, very cool Super Saiyan Vegeta. So guys, yeah, these are two very cool pops. As the thumbnail should suggest, I want you to, down in the comments below, let me know who you like better. Who wins this battle of the Super Saiyans? Is it Goku, metallic version from Loot Crate? Or is it Super Saiyan Vegeta from AAA Anime Exclusive? Let me know down in the comments. I'm kind of leaning towards this one here because, you know, he's my favorite character and he's metallic. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Say bye, Tucker. Say bye. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, share the video. Like I said, let me down, down in the comments below who you like better. I'm Deku Do Dirty, and I'll catch y'all guys in the next video.